you know god has been good to me i can't complain so this morning i want to talk to you about being who you are and not letting anybody take you to a level that is below you you know oftentimes we tend to let others bring out the worst in us we would say but do you really want somebody to bring out the worst in you or do you want to be the best you can do you want somebody to let you stoop to their level when you know that the level that you are hot is present to the level that the lord wants you to be so take the time out before you respond to somebody's comment before you go ahead and start tracing somebody out ask yourself what would jesus do what would the god that i serve do in a situation like this would he let that person get into a point where he's just i don't know cursing being rude being ignorant i just want to tell you this morning that the more you think about it the best you will respond don't let anyone change your character don't let anyone determine who you are you know who you are within you you know sometimes they said see me i'm gonna live with me a two different thing and that is so true because there are persons in your life where you know when they're outside your doors or your comfort zone you see the best in them you see something that i mean light up your world but the moment they come inside oh my god they are a changed person you see a character that you've never seen before but does this mean that you are going to stoop to their level? No. Don't you dare stoop. Don't stoop to their level. Live your life. The Bible said, let your light so shine before man so that they can see the good works and glorify the Lord. What you put out there is what another person is going to look at. It's what another person is going to, you know, determine who you are. I always hear the saying, first impression last. So if you start off the connection being an arrogant, disrespectful person, then that's how the person is going to see you forever. And they always say it takes time to gain trust. You, can't, you have to earn trust right so can you imagine you out there putting off this personality that is so bad so bad that the person is now going to say hey i can't deal with you you are just not the person i want in my life then that's how the person is going to see you yes we are told not to judge a book by its cover but that is what you show me. So start living your life to reflect a positive vibration. Start living your life to show others that you mean well. Start living your life to reflect Christ. Walk, talk like you are a child of the living God. Don't stoop to anyone level don't let anyone draw you out there are situations in your life where you think it's for your bad but it's for your good he said all things work together for the good of them that love the lord so don't take every situation as a disappointment sometimes it is there to build you sometimes it is there to you know shape you into who you are supposed to be sometimes those trials and those tribulations are just there 
to break you and to mold you. Be the clay that the potter is molding. You know? I don't know. I don't know, guys. But I want to be, I want to be a better person every day. I don't want to walk around feeling like I have this burden on my shoulder because I'm holding up somebody in my heart. When I see that person, I get so tense, so tight. I mean, gosh, heart attack can kill you, you know, people. Heart attack can kill you. Remember, some of these things that we hold up inside can cause us to die. And who do you want to die with your soul not being right with Christ? Would you want that for yourself? So I implore you this morning and I see, ensure that whatever you're doing, you are doing it to please the Lord, not to please your friend, not to please your spouse, not to please your family. Do it to please the Lord because once you put everything in the hands of the Lord, he will carry you through. He will, you know, things will start to go smooth. And you're wondering, am I, am I the person who is being blessed this way? Yes, that's the God you serve. Remember I told you before, when the praises go up, the blessing will come down. So guys, ensure that you do good and good will follow you. Don't expect the good to follow you from the person that you do it to. Not all the time the person that you do good will return the good unto you. Sometimes it's a complete stranger. Sometimes it's somebody you've never seen in your life. Yeah, a complete stranger. Peace out, guys. Have a blessed day.